Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, we're going to talk about the IQ test 100, question mark. And it said that if you are able to solve this puzzle within five minutes, your IQ is at least 100 or higher. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. Of course, um, I have no idea. I think the the name here is coming or is some kind of a marketing gag, to be honest. Anyway, it's a cool puzzle. I bought it on a fair in Germany and it's manufactured by Konstantin. Made out of laser cut wood, as you can see. One rope here connected to this wooden piece, a wooden ball, and also this 100 question mark sign. The target of this puzzle is to remove this ring somehow from the rest of the parts, disassemble it, reassemble it. And I actually found two solutions. One is pretty easy, and I think it's kind of a glitch or something, and the other one is more challenging and I think this is the intended solution. I will show you both of them. First the intended solution and then the glitch solution. And I would rate, let's say, if I consider the glitch, glitch um, solution, I would rate this puzzle only with a 2 out of a maximum of 5. The intended solution is more difficult and this deserves at least a 3 out of a maximum of 5. It's a pretty cool puzzle. I will try to, as I said, I've bought it on a fair and um, I will try to find a shop in the internet that can, where you can order this puzzle. If I found one, you will, have, uh, you will find it in the description of this video. So that's it. And I will show you how to solve it after the spoiler break. When we first look at this puzzle, it's very interesting because it's a pretty cool shape, like an IQ, to be actually. And yeah, what's significant is this cutout over here, and this for sure has something to do with the solution, or it's maybe it's also something, some feature to fool you. But um, usually you start playing around with it, and it's it's more challenging than you might expect. Um, the intended solution for this puzzle looks the following. First, you move the ring over here, and then you're gonna pull it out to the front. Now it's only connected here to the rope. Next, you move it around this ball, and then you move ring and the ball again here over this piece of the puzzle, and back again into this position. So the ball is now stuck or catched in here by the ring and the ring is held here by this edge of the puzzle in position. Then we're gonna take this sign here and just push it through this gap over here. So it's now pretty, yeah, doesn't look too um, comfortable here because there's nothing we can move anymore, but we are actually nearly done even if we cannot see it at this point. We only have to remove the ring to the front again, around the wooden piece over here, and then it's kind of free, trapped only by the rope, and we can easily remove it from the rope if we move it through the gap around the ball, and that's it. So it's a pretty cool move, and a very, yeah, it's a, it's something you cannot see from the beginning. You need to try it, a little, try it a little bit. You need to get a feeling for it and then you can see it and solve it. And it's, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool small puzzle. To assemble it again or reassemble it, we move the ring around the ball, through the gap again, move it around the wooden piece to the rear to catch the ball back here again, move the sign through the gap and the ring again to the front, around the ball and back to the beginning. So this was the, from my point of view, intended solution. And that's quite a, it's quite an interesting sequence of moves to solve it. And you will be surprised how much you can do wrong. Or well, if you bought it and you tried it, you probably know it. There are a lot of moves you can can do 
um, uh, that are actually wrong. The glitch solution looks the following way and I think it must be glitched because it's too easy. And also there's some force required and this is always a hint that there might be something wrong with this solution. You move the ring here to the front through the gap that it drops down here and of course the sign cannot put uh, or you're pushed through the ring but we can now move the ring here um, over the front tip and around here. And now it happens you cannot move it around this edge here. It's blocked. But if we take the rope and move it from inside here to the side of the puzzle over here then there is enough space that we can move it around here and I think this is a design design issue here because now it's easily possible to move it. I do not actually need too much force. It's pretty easy to push it around here and oh, if it's only on the side and then we can just take it off yeah and I think this is something that must let's say this it could be avoided if you optimize this area here of the puzzle I think but I think or I cannot imagine that this is some kind of an intended solution here to reassemble it it's the same way and pretty easy to achieve okay so these are the two solutions I found for this puzzle as I said the glitch solution around the two out of a maximum of five and the intended solution minimum at three check the description for any links if i find if i find one and yeah that's it for today i hope you like this puzzle if yes check out the other puzzles on my channel hit the subscribe button or the bell to get informed about further videos that I will release in the future. And if you're also interested, you can also check me out on Facebook and Instagram for further informations. Until next time, keep on puzzling.